Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mojax and we've got a quick one for you today. We're taking a look at the latest updates from the Engine team. We have Engine 3.2 and SoundSwitch 2.8. It seems like every few weeks I find myself making another video about engine updates, but it's a credit to their team that I always feel they're worth making. As always, there are updates to Engine OS, which runs on the Denon DJ Prime series kit, like this Prime 4 Plus, and Newmark's Mixstream Pros, and also to the Engine DJ desktop software. The first big new feature you'll have already noticed on screen in 3.2 is the addition of Day Mode, a daylight optimised UI theme. This has long been requested by users and I know a lot of people will be delighted to see it. To enable Day Mode you simply head to the Layout menu and switch it on and it's remembered through Power Cycles. The look of it isn't especially pretty but that doesn't matter, it makes everything highly visible in brighter environments and it does that job very well indeed. The next change is the ability to use fuzzy instead of strict key mixing. What this means is that when you utilise key sync, the OS will switch the synced track to the closest compatible key instead of to the exact key of the one it's syncing to, potentially minimising large jumps in pitch. I don't ever use key sync myself, so I'd be interested to hear from you guys and girls who do in the comments and let me know what you think of this one. There are a couple of effects changes too. Firstly, there's a new effects select menu which brings up all available effects in a grid and that can be controlled with knobs or via touch. On the Prime 4 and 4 Plus, it's only available for the touch effects at this stage, but on other devices, it's there for the main effects too. A smooth and intuitive way of working, which I like a lot. And secondly, the auto gate effect has been replaced with a new one, flex gate. This has a bunch of different gate patterns selectable, some of which are very cool indeed. The original auto gate was about as basic as you could get and this is a great improvement. As you'd expect, there are a few other improvements and fixes, the most notable of which is more accurate downbeat detection when analysing tracks. This one applies to the desktop software as well, although you'll need to reanalyse existing tracks in that to see the benefit. I've often found the downbeat detection to be a bit lacking in engine, it's most notable when playing streaming tracks with no dead space before the audio starts, and whilst the change in 3.2 hasn't made everything 100% perfect, there is a definite improvement there. Overall, 3.2 is another impressive update for Engine, and I'd suggest you update your devices and software right away. Moving on to SoundSwitch 2.8, I'm pleased to see that after the focus on auto loops in the last big release, the team have turned their attention back to auto scripting, and the change here is a big one, phrase editing. SoundSwitch has always done a fairly good job of reading the beat grid and audio information of your tracks and then scripting them accordingly. In doing so, it detects the different phrases of a track and designates them along the timeline. Intro, main one and two, chorus and verse, middle, bridge and outro. But as good as that analysis is, sometimes it doesn't quite nail it. So now in 2.8, you can go in, unlock the new phrase bar and edit those sections, either changing them or adjusting the length of them. You can then also lock different phrases whilst running AutoScript again, ensuring the new script only changes sections that you want to be changed. For me, this is a big one, and it's also complemented by changes to batch auto-scripting. Now, when scripting a lot of files at once, you can select multiple different presets across the batch, which will lead to more variety in your auto-scripts. This is something I had made manual workarounds for myself in the past, so I'm very happy that this is now an option. There's a couple of other noteworthy changes too. You can now reorder fixtures in your workspace and exclude certain fixtures from auto scripts. As with Engine 3.2, SoundSwitch 2.8 is a great update and I'd recommend users get it installed as soon as possible. So there you go, another raft of solid improvements from the engine and sound switch teams. Nice new features in there and a load of bug fixes, of course. It goes without saying, if you are an engine or sound switch user, go ahead, get this all downloaded and installed because, yeah, you will see some quality of life improvements. There's one big elephant in the room right now, though, and that, of course, is stems. A little while back, the team announced that they were going to have integrated stem separation in the Prime 4 Plus. It will be exclusive to that, at least at first. So where is that? Well, it's not in this build, but I have been told it's coming now in a matter of weeks. 
rather than months. Now, I won't be doing a full video when that goes into public beta because I just have too much else on my desk right now that I need to get through, but I will make sure I do a short for YouTube and social media postings and whatnot so that you guys and girls are aware of when that public beta drops. In the comments this week, tell us about your experiences with the last lot of updates for Engine because there were some big changes there, things like the touch effects and so on. So if you are an Engine user, if you've been enjoying that, or maybe not so much, if there's other stuff you'd like to see, let us know in those comments. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.